To get things started today, we would like to welcome um, back to the stage President of the New Zealand Institute of International Affairs, Sir Anand Satyanand. Sir Anand is Chancellor of the University of Waikato and was New Zealand's 19th Governor General. And as a Kiwi Fiji Indian myself, it is a matter of great pride um, to introduce him as New Zealand's first Governor General of Indian and Pacific Ancestry connections, which are obviously very important and relevant in the context of our discussions today. Sir Anand is a visiting fellow at the Law School of the University of Auckland and a member of the International Advisory Committee of Transparency International. Please could I ask everyone to join us in welcoming Sir Anand to the stage. Masters of Ceremony, Prime Minister Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern, distinguished guests and registrants at this important annual conference. As President of the Institute of International Affairs, it is a privilege to welcome everyone and to introduce you, Prime Minister, so that you can provide the plenary opening. I can say that the diverse audience comprises people from business and academia, but also interested New Zealanders from many walks of life. Most importantly, young people who have the greatest stake in our future have filled this venue to capacity. The Institute was formed in 1934, coincidentally on the initiative of a predecessor of yours, Prime Minister, then as a prominent politician in opposition, the Honourable Walter Nash. In the 80 years plus since, the NZIIA has sought to encourage understanding of the importance of global affairs to the political and economic well-being of our country. It is in accordance with that approach that the critical theme of the Indo-Pacific and New Zealand's part in it has been embraced. In today's world, a wide range of governments increasingly describe the region, the greater region, inhabited by New Zealand as the Indo-Pacific. That thought was recently phrased by the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta, Minister of Foreign Affairs, who said recently in Auckland that the Indo-Pacific connects our whānau of the Pacific, or close friends and relatives, further afield in East Asia and the Pacific Rim. And most importantly, the Indo-Pacific recognises the influence of the Indian subcontinent on the wider region. Minister Mahuta also remarked that as we negotiate and navigate a path through COVID-19, we must hold fast to our values to guide our way as our forebears look to the stars to guide them across the oceans. End quote. Our country has a long track record of innovation and leadership in the region. New Zealand hosts APEC in 2021 and will play a significant role in convening a meaningful regional response to the crisis caused by COVID-19, all through virtual engagement. In developing the program for today's event, the Institute has ensured that a full suite of serious challenges to regional peace, prosperity and security are covered with local and international experts involved. The conference deals head on with security flashpoints such as the South China Sea and the Korean Peninsula. It also examines trade, economic development, social and economic inclusion and environmental pressures. 